Hey folks, it's been a while. Um, most of you following my channel would know what this is. It's an expansion, well, it's a cartridge game for the C64 that goes into the cartridge slot of it. Uh, recently, I learned of another expansion card for the C64 that goes into the same uh, cartridge slot. It's the red expansion unit. This is very clever. And what this is, is basically a little PVC with a mm, Pi Nano on it. And through some very clever engineering, um, this can be used as an external CPU for the C64. Uh, and I found a project uh, where I think the original designer of this uh, this little cartridge had used this for playing Doom on the C64. Just put it in and power cycle. Takes a second or two for the cartridge to take over the C64. Here we go. So this is the original intro um, that is on the software that this very clever uh, developer made. Um, it's a tech demo that allows um, the user to run Doom Shadow version. Um, but when I got a hold of it, I've pretty quickly thought Let's play some other versions of Doom as well. I bought Doom 2 and so forth from uh, GOG.com and added this little menu which will allow you to choose between the games that you have put into the little SD card that goes into the cartridge. Let us, let's go with Doom Shiver. There we are. Here we go. So now it's loaded up Doom and it's running on the C64. Well, um, it's running on the expansion unit, but um, the RGG, RGB buffer um, transfers all the data into the big two chip in the C64. Every input comes from the C64. Uh, the audio goes to the, through the 60, C64 as well. Um, so when you can you can play it, it's fully playable, 50 frames a second. Uh, oh, another thing I expanded the original code base with this joystick support, because my hands are simply too big to play on the C64 keyboard nowadays. Uh, oops. Let's go here. Let me plenty. Yes. So I added joystick support as well. Oh, and uh, another thing I found myself um, uh, annoyed with is, even though he's done an awesome job converting the many, many color uh, graphics into the 16 limited, um, 16 colored limited pattern of the C64. He's done an amazing job with that. And you can go through um, different um, uh, dithering uh, algorithms. Um, it's incredible. You can adjust uh, illumination as well. But um, all in all, I found it a little bit unreadable to see what um, my ammo level, health, and so forth actually is at the moment. So I added a special C64 HUD version instead, um, which makes the game a little bit more playable. Oh, gee. Can I hit the stairs here? Oh, I've been up here already. Um, yeah. I must say, these past days I've been playing Doom way more than I ever have. So, 
it's running very fluidly. Um, I must say, 15 frames a second. Uh, I, the current state of the project is, I believe, it only supports the PAL version of the C64. Um, but anybody with some coding skills want to take up that challenge, feel free and go ahead. Um, I just forked the original uh, repo and started adding code to it um, and shared my builds and comments on the discussion part of GitHub. And you will be able to find my binaries there as well as my updated code. Not great at them, I must say, but I'm pretty good at tinkering with code. Let's go. Yeah, that's the end of level one. If you like this uh, project. I can recommend you getting your own unit. Um, if you like this video and want to see more, um, then feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.